So this right here, this is my Monocentropus Balfouri communal enclosure. And in case you don't know, that is kind of a rare thing amongst tarantulas because generally if you put more tarantulas inside of same enclosure, you will end up with having one fat tarantula. This being a communal species is actually a big deal. And today we will add more tarantulas inside. And of course, those tarantulas will also be Monocentropus balfouri species. You see, I have them right here, five of them actually, and one should be in a pre mold. It is that one right there. That one is the smallest and will mold anytime now. Also, we are hoping that the existing tarantulas in the communal will accept them without any issues and I'm like 90-ish percent sure that there won't be any problem but uh, you never know. And before I just add them to the enclosure let me give you a short rundown of the, the history of this communal setup. Way 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 back in 2017 or maybe even 2016 I'm not like 100% certain I acquired nine Monocentropus balfouri slings and they were super tiny babies that quickly told me just how fast they can be and how bold they can be and during my first rehouse I mean during the first rehouse of them I almost lost one but thankfully I managed to find him even though in the end I discovered that there were only eight left so that means that one died most likely you know tiny slings they are fragile so uh, dying off is just a normal thing. After that first rehouse they naturally continued to grow so I rehoused them into a bigger enclosure in which four males actually matured while four others I believed were females. Then I rehoused them into this enclosure but I quickly separated males from the females because I noticed that males were kind of harassing the females and out of those four males I sent two to my friends. One went to Yerko and the other one went to Ivan. The other two males died out of old age while one female from this enclosure actually molted showing that it is not a female but a male so i had fifth male that also died out of old age here in the dark then so that brings us to three total females inside of this enclosure but unfortunately now there is only one the reason for that is one magically disappeared i never spotted a body or, or left over body or anything i assumed that somehow she was eaten but i never found the proof of that while the other female, she was acting really, really weird for like a month, slowly dying. And then eventually I found her dead. Actually, I found her killed and partially eaten. It seemed like slings kind of feasted on her. Or I don't know if she died and then slings started to eat her or uh, I have no idea what happened over there. But you may be asking which slings if I said that there were only females inside. You remember that I gave away two males to my friends for breeding. Those breedings were successful and Yerko gave me five slings to add to this enclosure, which I did like I think it was a year and a half ago now. And they were also super tiny. And now in the meantime, they got a bit bigger while those slings that we will add today, they are from the other mature male that I gave to Ivan. Uh, he also gave me five slings to add into this enclosure. And here we are, let me show you the slings now. The slings inside of the communal, you see? There is one, there is the other one. Here you can see female's leg down there. Over there one sling is visible. Basically, in last year and a half I would rarely spot any sling outside, but now as it's getting hotter, you know the summer is coming, as it's getting hotter, they're actually starting to appear more often outside and also they are now bigger, so I guess that they are a bit bolder. So they are now roughly the same size as these slings that we will add. Look, this one is actually cleaning. They are kind of the same size, but before I dump them inside, there is something that I want to do. I want to set camera to record the time lapse during the night just to see how active these guys are. That is something that I want to check out but also you will see it because I am pretty sure that they are fairly active. So let's go into a time lapse. <laughs>
and that's it. It wasn't bad, but honestly, I was expecting a bit more activity in the enclosure because often I would spot like four slings being outside. And while recording this time lapse, only two slings and one female was out simultaneously. But I think that we spotted one sling that freshly molded because he was stretching like in the, on this side and on that side. And also it was interesting to see, it seems like they were able to feel each other through the ventilation holes because slings from the communal were actually standing on it and like doing those weird movements. So I don't know, anyhow, anyhow you see, in the meantime, I opened the box and I just gently put it on top and I waited with these, these plastic things just to make sure that they cannot open the, the lid fully because I want to open the lid. Uh, while recording, uh, but first actually I need to gently remove the the top lid <sighs> Because I can see a couple of slings outside. I will take the camera now and you will see you will be able to see them There you see there is one sling and Behind it there is another one and also I think I spotted the female. Yeah, the female is right there You can see her through the webbing. So now I also want to gently remove this It wasn't super gently, but okay and open up the lid, but check these guys out They really want to go out and <laughs> sorry that you can see my flip-flops <laughs> It is hot. So yeah so gently 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 there we go. Now let's see if they will go out on their own or if I will need to intervene. I definitely want to record a natural interaction in between these and the communal slings. Mm -hmm. This one figured out that he can go out. Yeah, continue your journey little one. Go out and explore. I just hope that he won't simply go up. I hope that he will go down now to feel the area. Oh. Another moment. That one is actually positioned really good in close proximity to a female, so maybe we'll see that interaction. But I think that I will need to push this one down. Yeah, definitely. Look, he is just going up. Oh, and also that one is going out. I need to be mindful now. Maybe I should close the top. Just no, no, no. I will just risk it for now. Ah, now this one is going. Same way as that one. And that one is also on the glass. Look, he's also going up. Come on, guys, what are you doing? It is like they all think the same, right? Oh, but this is no, this will be awesome with five new ones and four from the inside and the female. Oh, excellent, excellent. Also, I don't think that I mentioned in the video. I have one immature male that is most likely soon to be mature male. So once he matures, I will add him to this enclosure so we can have some sexy time with the female and more slings eventually. But I need to intervene now. Dude, please. Ooh, a bit down. No, are you crazy? <laughs> oh, you also down. That is better, but do I want to get this one out so I can take the plastic? Let's see if he wants to move. I think that he is in a, in a heavy, heavy pre-mold and maybe looking to mold soon, so... Hmm. I should take that out and observe him once he molds, so I can record the time-lapse. I'm gonna set you aside here. Okay, where is everyone? And no one escaped, no one escaped. Great. <laughs> they really want to go up, huh? And look at this cheeky guy. <laughs> Vespacito is looking at them <laughs> from the top. He actually figured out that there is there is some movement down there. <laughs> Despa, no. You already had your meal today. You will not be eating any tarantulas. No, no, no. Oh, that one is... Uh, I wanted to say going in that direction, but then just moved towards the glass. So annoying. Oh, you will go under the webbing to meet his leg that is just protruding down there. <laughs> oh, you will also go underneath the webbing, huh? I guess that is just their basic need to squeeze somewhere and... <sighs> so annoying. Go 
down, please. Oh, but that one is actually on the right direction. Now we just need one, one tarantula from the actual communal. They're all hiding inside. Down, please, down. Yes, yes, no, no. Look, you see how fast they are. They are like little bolting machines. Espacito, stop, get some help. It looks like all the other slings are inside of this wood. And it seems like there is some party that we are not invited to. Uh, what a timing, what a great timing. Now I see that the sling is actually moving, so yeah, I will just get him inside of the, the communal because it looks like he won't be molting now. Oh, there, little one, great. And you once again. Ooh. He's going straight to party, you see? Just like, ooh! Yeah, he definitely went inside. Ooh, and the one in the pre is approaching also. With my eyes, I can see the legs from the other sling, so they are really, really close, and I'm pretty sure that the ones inside of the wood can feel the tarantula on the, on the entrance, so yeah! So far, so good. Espacito. Can you stop with the noise, please? Stop with the noise. Oh, he went deeper, you see? Oh, this is a good, good sign. What is the situation inside? Yeah, I think this is our sling. And I can't really see any other tarantula currently. Maybe from the other side. Down there you can see the legs from the other tarantula. Right beside our sling, so... Uh, no, no, no. Oh look, now the Mini Despacita also figured out the tarantulas. <laughs> they are funny guys. Mm, this one will maybe go in... Yes. And you see right there, there's the female. So they are now super close. Okay, we will see if there will be any reaction from the female now. She is basically ignoring. And he's going out through that side, you see. But definitely we don't see any hostility inside. Think that I will set the camera down, close the enclosure, set the camera down and let it record for like next hour, but not in a time lapse, in normal speed. So in case something interesting happened, I can see it in normal speed and not just blah, 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 super fast. Okay, okay. Okay, one hour didn't pass, but we have a little bit of development, you see? This one is now actually outside, it went in and went out, and interesting thing, if you can actually see it, we need some light, oh no, 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 you see, uh, one sling actually went over the female, just, you see, there it is, just a second ago that sling was right there, I hope that you were able to see it on the previous recording, but he just simply walked across the female and she didn't move a muscle, great, that is an extremely good sign, and I think that simply will now go into another time lapse during the night to see what will happen and if anything will happen because it looks like I can just sit here all day long waiting for other things to go outside but they just won't happen so another time lapse <laughs> And the communal was definitely more lively in this time lapse. I mean, that was to be expected because we added five more tarantulas. But just imagine if there was like 20 to 30 Balfouris inside, then it would be mm, crazy. And imagine 20 to 30 adult Balfouris, then it would be insane. I mean, completely insane. In the time lapse, you could see some interesting things. You see, female actually did some digging over there. 
we can still spot her down there so she didn't dig that much down there is not a lot of substrate to go but yeah she did some remodeling and i'm wondering if that was if she was motivated to do that because of new slings i spotted some interactions in between of them and everyone was super chill inside so yeah that's great now i want to grab a couple of lateralis roaches and attempt to feed some of the slings that are that are outside not i think there is one and probably on top i will be able to see another one so let's drop some roaches and see where that will take us you see down there there is one sling so i will drop the the dying lateralis male but he's not doing a lot of movement so i'm not sure if he will attract the tarantula now Ooh. oh oh there was enough movement after all great that's one successful takedown and look once again Espacito stop stop doing that you have already been fed today that enough is enough let me see if I can spot some other sling mm, not really not really can reach the female but actually I spotted one over there so there's maybe still a chance there's maybe still a chance hey little one can we interest you in one roach? Did I record that? <laughs> I'm not sure, but you see he grabbed the roach. <laughs> Sorry for my terrible camera skill, but it is kind of... Since I needed to feed him from top, I couldn't just go down. Yeah, it was a logistical challenge. Um, I still see some movement inside through the web so i will try to remove some web and see if we can reach down you see if i remove this web oh i stirred something you can see the female now i'll try and drop a roach so <laughs> hopefully that will do the trick no mm -hmm. Wanna grab it yeah that's a ro that is a roach but of course I crushed him just a little bit too much I will try to poke it with a stick like this pokey pokey come on yes there we go another takedown and hopefully this one was recorded a bit better <laughs> okay okay can we finish it off with another one maybe i will be able to lure the valfuri that is inside maybe with the with this lovely device you know the famous tarantula fishing stick you see you definitely get tarantula's interest <laughs> okay now roach for him i have a juicy lobster roach whoa <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. Okay, okay. I can see the... Oh, <laughs> what is happening down there? Did someone try to steal your dinner or what? Well, it would be good if the another tarantula would come out. Yeah, because I have more roaches. Not a problem. Yeah, you see that leg behind this tarantula. There is definitely another tarantula down there. We definitely have one interested party. <laughs> Okay, ooh, ooh, there's, is that the third one? I don't know, but grabbing the roach. Oh, where did she, she went back. Ah, I should have had a roach on my hand because maybe if I do something like, I think that the tarantula grabbed the roach from the other side. Oh, <laughs> what the? Okay, now this one grabbed the roach while the other one grabbed the, <laughs> The one that I gave to this one. Oh, this is such a such a development law. <laughs> Anyhow, that means five tarantulas fed. Five out of at least ten. So that means I will need to drop a couple of roaches so the other tarantulas can grab them later as they emerge from the webbing. Yeah, that is exactly what I will do. But with this happy tarantula that is doing the happy dance, we can end this video. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe up or every Monday, sometimes on Friday. So see you again soon. Bye.